So for the next 30 days, I decided to take L-theanine and as being a doctor and having ADHD, I wanted to see how it worked with me because I give this recommendation all the time taking L-theanine. So I wanted to do this challenge of 30 days. So I want to share my experience of what the next 30 days did for me by taking L-theanine for 30 days. Now, first off, I got to explain why I decided to take L-theanine. When we look at my lab results here, one of the big things that I noticed is when I took them for myself to check my neurotransmitters is my serotonin levels were high. Also, I had tryptamine levels that were elevated as well as my tyramine and tyrosine levels were elevated. And when serotonin specifically is elevated, you're going to feel a little bit more anxious and more stressed. And L-theanine is supposed to help bring those levels more into balance. So I want to see, okay, does it make a difference for my ADHD? Does it improve my mood? Does it maybe help with focus? Like all these things that L-theanine talks about. So after looking at those test results, I decided to, you know, take 200 milligrams twice a day. Roughly, that's what I usually recommend to my patients and clients to start off with when you have elevated levels of things like serotonin or dopamine. And so I decided to take, okay, let's see if that does improve it. So the very first week, I didn't notice any difference really. Usually the first week, you're not going to. For some people, it can, but I didn't really notice much. And so I'm like, okay, great. Let's try, keep going with it. So I was very consistent with it. So by the second week is when I started started to notice not necessarily my focus all of a sudden wow all of a sudden I have better focus, it had to do with more of my mood. Because during that time, I was having more stressful situations happening at work, you know, within my business and just all these different things. And I did notice that I was able to handle it better than I typically did. And that's where I started saying, okay, maybe there's something to this l thinning. And by week three, I actually forgot a couple days. I would say probably about three or four days where I forgot to take the supplements. And this is something that just is very common, especially with us ADHD. We tend to be consistent with taking our supplements. And I certainly am not the greatest at that. And I realized I had to do, you know, have better reminders. I would usually place this right in front of my desk so I could see it more frequently. And when I would do that, then I was more consistent taking it. Whereas before I would have it in my bag or in a drawer where I didn't see it. And by by doing that, that made all the difference where I was being more consistent. And what I did notice when I did not take it for those three or four days, I was more stressed. I was definitely more anxious. A lot of things were happening more in my life, especially more within my business. Uh, there was a lot of changes happening, things that I had to pay a lot of dues and debt, especially at the end of the year, because I did this pretty much started doing this during Christmas break and then into January. And there was a lot of things I had to pay for and that made it really stressful. But then when I start taking it again, following into week four, uh, and since I missed a couple days, it took about over five weeks to do it full 30 days, is I started to feel more relaxed and I wasn't as stressed. It made a big difference for me because typically these types of situations make me feel very anxious and I freak out a lot. But my mind was so calm that I felt like I was on pace. I could think ahead and I was on top of the things that I needed to do within my business. But another thing that I did certainly see a big change by taking the l twice a day is I started doing it in the morning and afternoon. Whereas before I was doing it morning and night, but I typically don't get too stressed out at night. It's more about during the day, the ins and outs, you know, you know, talking to clients, working with, you know, people who are helping in my business, or it also might be just responding to emails. I put those off. Sometimes I'm very anxious about, you know, writing emails back or writing material. And what I notice is when I would do it more morning and midday, I had that constant flow of being in a more relaxed state. And that's what L-theanine is supposed to do for you. It has those properties that actually increase your GABA levels, which GABA levels do help impact with improving your mood. And because it does improve that, it also can help stabilize things such as serotonin, which my levels were high to begin with, and that made a difference. Now, I know you're gonna ask the question, have I retested this? No, 30 days is not a long enough time to do that. They actually recommend doing these tests about once a year. So I will do a follow-up video on that, of what my test results look like as I'm being consistent around taking L-theanine. I certainly 
think it definitely had improved my ADHD in different ways. Now, I definitely didn't think it gave me more focus per se, but because it brought down my anxiety levels and my, especially in stressful situations, I was able to think clearly. And because I was able to think clearly, you could say that did help with focus, but I think more importantly, what l did for me was really help with my mood and not being so stressed during these stressful situations. Now, certainly I think I could have upped my dosages to see if it made much of a difference, but I think 200 milligrams twice a day was just the adequate amount for me. I think I would probably increase it if I was in more stressful situations. So it really depends on where I would be at in increasing those dosages or not. So really my final thoughts, would I still continue taking L-theanine? I think most definitely yes. I will still continue taking L-theanine along with my other supplements that I do take and why I do actually recommend it to a lot of my different patients. But of course we do testing first to see, okay, does it make sense to take that? But for the most cases, probably one of my more common ones that I do tend to recommend because what's great about L-theanine is it does help with whether you have high or low levels of dopamine or serotonin or norepinephrine and epinephrine. And when that's the case, if you have any of those that are out of balance, you it could help bring it to balance is L-theanine and also helps improve with GABA levels. So those are the reasons why I would definitely recommend it for myself and for a lot of different other people. But there is definitely one nootropic that I thought had even a stronger impact for my ADHD that helped a lot with other things such as like focus and attention. And you should watch this video right here of where I talk about my 30 day challenge of taking this one nootropic that made a huge difference for optimizing my ADHD brain. So check this video out right now. Thanks, bye.